A typical day for me is very busy. Usually, this has probably been my busiest year. Homeschool basketball is something that I've been involved in since I was 12. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we have practice. So on mornings that I have practice, I get home, I eat and shower and get any school done I need because I kind of have classes periodically. As team captain, I try to just encourage the other girls and get them going and not necessarily be in charge all the time, but just try to be that person to step up and fill the place that I need to fill. Hopefully, I'm doing a good job of that. <laughs> the game for me, it's about teamwork. We had a rough start at the beginning of the season, but here at the second half of the season, we've done a great job at uh, keeping up and um, winning our games. Our association is a volunteer-based program. We give the kids an opportunity that are homeschool students to compete in sports, teach them to work together as a team. Uh, we're trying to help build life skills as they go forward in their adulthood. If you're homeschooled, probably 20 years ago, there really wasn't athletics, so you were kind of secluded but now we have baseball, we've got soccer, we've got basketball, softball, volleyball. So there's a lot of things that you can do as a homeschool student to be included through our program. We'll become family and just being a part of that team. We're going on 25 years uh, that the program's been in existence. We just have a bunch of homeschool families that have come together that decide to put together a program where we can uh, allow our children to have competitive team sports to participate in going and watching them compete and rooting them on. It's competitive, just like public school. It's been very valuable to us to see them grow up together and learn to compete together, learn how to win and lose together. Playing for the Falcons, it's just such a positive, encouraging environment to be able to grow as a player. Our coaches are always so supportive, but it's very competitive and we're learning. You put the time in and practice to be able to play in the game and it's the hustle that you show and the effort that you put in that gets you that time and our girls have worked really hard to do that. Coach Jeff, he's a great coach to play under. He's a good teacher, he's got some great drills that we run in practice, and then he's just always there for you and has given me lots of tips that have helped me in the second half of this season getting back from my ACL tear. At the start of the season, he was a little timid. He didn't trust his leg, but as the season's progressed, he started coming on here at the end and hitting a lot of threes for me. I admire his determination to get back on the court. It's an honor to get to coach these young men. Some of them are driving in 5.30 a.m. in the morning to get here to practice. It's about 6.20 and we practice 6.30 three days a week. You can see whenever people really start to step out of their comfort zone and into the role they play on the court and just excel there. So I love playing in an environment that just really encourages that and lifts everybody up, but is working on building you up as well as a player and as a person. So We've been blessed to have some really good coaches. These guys pour their heart and soul into what they do. They don't get paid. They do it because they love the kids and they love the sport. We're very good about the team environment, loving on each other, praying for each other. It's just a great program. It's definitely made me a better coach and these kids have definitely made me a, a better person too because I learned a lot from them.